in a slow and steady way, with partnerships being built in an effort to get the best minds in the world behind it, so much so that the original Chicago to Cleveland to Pittsburgh route will likely be growing. It was three years ago this month that the Northeast Ohio Coordinating Agency, or NOACA, announced a partnership with Hyperloop Transportation Technologies to produce a feasibility study on the idea of building a Cleveland to Chicago Hyperloop that could travel 313 miles in 28 minutes. Nearly two years later, the study produced results so promising the route was expanded to include Pittsburgh to the east, and now we've learned probably New York City. I think that's probably the most exciting part to me is if they can uh, get that agreement and start doing the feasibility study from Cleveland to New York, that really positions us to be the, you know, the center of uh, two large cities. Hyperloop travel involves capsules of around 100 feet in length using passive magnetics to levitate and essentially a vacuum tube where they can travel at speeds of up to 700 miles an hour, which actually enables them to generate more energy than they use, a factor that will eventually offset the estimated construction cost of $50 million a mile. Hyperloop PT has a full-scale capsule and test track in France and is hoping to have a 5-kilometer prototype in Abu Dhabi open to passengers in two to three years. Because of Hyperloop TT's work, the number of partnerships they built, and the Cleveland Feasibility Study, which was the most extensive review of its kind published so far, Gallucci said there's even more interest in making Cleveland's route one of the first. A number of folks internationally have reached out to us to say, uh, you are the most probable one uh, to move forward and um, have talked to us about, part none of which I can say who they are, but you know, talk about partnering with us. Uh, rather than doing their own, they'd like to see one done somewhere in the world and that we all kind of uh, build off of that. All right, so how long are we talking? Well, the folks at Hyperloop TT have been saying all along, this is a matter of years, not decades. That being said, COVID, as we know, has slowed down life as we know it. Still, they believe that if everything goes as planned, within 10 years from now, we should have that Chicago to Cleveland leg up and running. Live in Shaker Heights, John Kasich, News 5.